Yes, yes indeed. Check, check, one, Matt, two. How are you feeling, mate? I'm well. I'm good. I'm comfortable. Fired up. Let's go. Yes. you got to be comfortable being uncomfortable, but if you can be comfortable being comfortable, then that's even more comfortable. Well, then you just take the <laughs> pretty fast in that case. All right, sweet. Jack Ginnivan, welcome to Goes All Right. Yeah, thanks for having me. It's uh, been a while, been brewing for a while, so uh, yeah, it's finally good to be here. A long time in the making, and Roger, you're joining us as well. Your third or fourth interview? Yeah, absolutely loving it. Third time host uh, interview on the guest, but is this your first time being on a podcast, I hear? Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure, yeah. First time since being drafted on a podcast, so uh, we'll see how it goes. This is unreal. All my comments on TikTok and my DMs on Instagram is get Jack Ginevan on. So um, this is a huge scalp for the pod. How do the nerves compare your, <laughs> your debut for the Magpies and your debut on a podcast like Goes All Right? Where does that sit? Yeah, the debut on a podcast is actually a little bit nerve-wracking. <laughs> yeah, I would have thought so. Um, the debut for the Pies was obviously weird. I had no crowd, so none of my family were there and um, we'll probably d delve into that. But um, yeah, uh, this is a bit more scary. Uh, magic stuff, right? Well done. Yes. <coughs> You're guilty. Very good. Mate, I reckon that um, the last round, Baggy's Pies, it will be, whether it's both to get in the A or the four, yeah. whatever it might be, it's going to be fucking electric. Right, right. That'll be potty done That'll and dusted. Rog, how was it? Um, I think it could have been a lot better. I thought our guest didn't really give us much <laughs> at all. <and laughs> oh. No, nah, he put on absolute clinic to Jackie J. Yeah, it was a late. It was good fun. <laughs> how, how'd you go, Jack? Was it? Was it... What you expected and more. Yeah, no, nah, it was really good. I was a bit nervous at the start, but it's free flowing. <laughs> Paul haven't beat the Grubbers since 91. 91? 91, 91, 91. Roger. You just fight for your luck, surely once the ball bounces the right way. This 91. Is a, this, is 91. Th this is a 30 year hooter. 30 years. Yeah, there's no such thing as friends. We've been our best, and we've been our worst. If we do it, we'll write in the whole verse. We won't. There isn't any doubting We'll be in this Shouting <laughs> What an absolute thing to hear for us Show them you hide Fight like the devil The crowd's on your side Let's go next Join the interview What's going on here? <laughs> We are whipping home Jonesy and the Port Boys here. Great start, kick the first snag. Let's get around them. Well, that's a shot. Oh, Andre, drive. Community's come in, the kids have come in. James has had a couple of good plays. Old Yahoo a legend down there for the Ocean Grove forward lines is uh, you know, a bit of bit, bit of chi bit of chippy chap the bakes. Say say <laughs> something about how good it is for the community. Well, just being knowing like, it. Like start off with like this is great for the community because this is great for the community because, nah, yo, all the kids are showing up. Like, I've even seen a couple of kids here today that don't even play for this footy club. I've come down to watch, so it's a, it is a good show out, and hopefully Port Island can get a good, uh, good amount of revenue for the club. Nothing. 
Murphy. So this is an absolute honour. Jonesy, how are you feeling, mate? I'm feeling good, yeah. It was good fun, man. Like, I had such a good time and um, the turnout was incredible and couldn't have scripted the start any better, to be honest. Um, but, yeah, I've had a great day. The, the, the fans have been awesome. The boys have been awesome. And, um, you know, hopefully, you know, I guess the fallout of everything is hopefully, you know, the most important thing is that Port Arlington um, get everything out of it that they should. Yeah, well, they absolutely have. It's been an amazing day. The turnout rival sort of finals that they get down here at the BFL. And that first snag, so talk us through yeah. it. Top of the square, front and centre, and you put it through. It was an absolute gift, though. I ran down there unmanned pretty much. I don't know how. And uh, there was a big sort of spiking spoil. It just landed in my lap um, with a sort of easy snap over the shoulder. So, um, But the boys were saying they haven't heard a crowd roar like that in any of their games. So I was wrapped about that. And... Um, yeah, they all got around me. I think I might accidentally headbutted one of them in the nose, but um, no, it was good times, good times. There was some thinking that the lid was off after the first one. <laughs> I thought that yeah. too. Thought we were away. Um, how did you find the game out there? So I'm not sure you've played a game since nah, you finished t- up. I barely touched the footy, to be honest. So how did you find it out there? Uh, no, I felt pretty good. Um, just the more as I'm running around, you just get sore groins and hips and stuff because I just have done no sort of change of direction and yeah. sprinting in that. But anyway, mate, I, I, once I sort of got a feel of the game and how it was moving again, it was, it, was, uh, it was good fun. Got a bit of the ball and kicked a couple of goals. So try to just do my bit, really. Yeah, that was not good for your uh, circadian rhythm. What's up? Not sleeping because you're nervous for Nathan Jones on Saturday, so you stay up till four. Not sleeping because you had a great day at Nathan Jones and you had a few bevs, so you stay up till five. <laughs> And then on the Monday, you got to wake up at five to be here. So two nights I'm going to bed at five. The next night I'm getting up at five. Can't be good. Um, yeah, smashed a feed and now getting ready to do the top of the show um, for the Jack Ginevan app. But we're minus a few members. So Sam's in the UK and Rog was in hospital last night because he's he's got a cough. I don't think it's COVID. I'm not sure what it is, but... Now, I'd never, ever uh, get on someone's back for being ill. Um, <laughs> but geez, Rogi, <laughs> oh. you got on me hard, Connor. Who? You're on the pod. You're actually on the pod again. So we've got some selection issues that goes alright because no, 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 Con- no. Connor's worked up from the third segment, then got into the twos, got into the second segment, and now he's on segment one, co-hosting, kicking off the show, and he kicked you you out of the the team. You were in that first segment. Um, you got dropped for Rog, but now Rog is out with illness and you're back. I was so. okay with it. I was okay with it because we're a new club and you need people to fill <laughs> roles. I'm not here to have a permanent position, but if they do need me to field in the twos, then I'm there to do that. Well, you've come up well. You remind me of Mitch Brown where you're just waiting in the wings. You've come back in to segment one. You're in the ones again and you perform well today, Baz. So I don't know if Rog can walk back in next week. I just get the feeling I'm a barometer. <laughs> I am a barometer. I am the Reese Matheson. I am the what are you, what's the nickname for Reese Matheson? Beast mode. Beast mode. <laughs>